how to convert PNG to ICO image. On my desktop, I have an image called Websplaining Logo. It is a PNG image file, and this is the image I'm going to be converting from PNG to ICO. Before we commence the conversion process, I'm just going to quickly show you that it is indeed a working PNG image. So I'm just going to right click on the image and left click on properties. Once done, I'll be in the general tab of my PNG images properties. As you can see, the type of file is PNG file or .png. The next thing I'm going to do is just quickly show you how the image currently looks like by double clicking on it. And as you can see, it's a fully working PNG image file. And now I'm just going to X out of the image viewer now. Great, we are now ready to begin the conversion process of this PNG image file. The first thing we're going to need to do is open up our browser and navigate to the following URL address, https colon slash slash www.freeconvert.com slash png dash two dash ICO. Once you're here, you'll be on Free Converts PNG to ICO Converter. Convert PNG to ICO online for free. The next thing we're going to need to do is upload our PNG image to convert it into an ICO file. To do this, simply navigate to where it says Choose Files and left click on it. Once done, a small window will open, prompting you to locate the image file that you would like to convert. As you can see, I'm currently on my desktop. The PNG image file that I'm going to be converting today is called Websplaining Logo. I'm simply going to left click on it to select it and then left click on Open to upload it onto freeconvert.com. Once done, you should see your image file's title listed. So as you can see, Websplaining Logo .png is listed here. It's roughly one megabyte in size and we're going to be converting it into an ICO file. Before we convert to ICO immediately, we're just going to adjust the advanced settings. To the right of ICO, you should see a NUT icon and when hovered over, we'll say advanced settings in brackets optional. Simply left click on this NUT icon. Here, you'll be greeted with the advanced options window where your image's file name will be listed Underneath, you should see image options with one parameter that you can adjust called format and size. Currently, it is set to favicon for websites. However, if you are not converting your PNG image file for use as a favicon on a website, then you should adjust this parameter by left clicking on the arrow here to bring down a drop down menu. You'll have various different options you can select from. At the very top is favicon for websites, ICO for Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista or XP. And finally, underneath that, you have a list of image dimensions, width, X height. So as you can see, you have dimensions ranging from 16 by 16 pixels all the way down to 256 X 256 pixels width by height. For me guys, I'm going to be using this ICO file as a program icon in Windows 10. So I'm going to be selecting the second option here, which says ICO for Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista or XP. So all I'm going to do is simply left click on it. Once done, you have the option to apply to all files, which is a good option to select if you have uploaded more than one image file for conversion. If you have only a single image file for conversion, simply left click on apply settings. Once done, your settings will be applied. The only thing left to do now is to convert your PNG image to an ICO file by simply left clicking on the convert to ICO button here in blue. Simply left click on it. Once done, you should see your image file or files conversion results listed below. So as you can see, the websplaining logo.png status is now done, which means it has been converted into an ICO file. You have the option to download that converted ICO file by simply left clicking on download ICO file in green here. Once done, a new window will open, prompting you to pick a save location for your newly converted ICO file. So I'm going to be saving this ICO file in my desktop. The file name I'm going to be leaving it as Websplaining Logo. However, I will add Modified to the title and Save as Type is Icon. Once done, simply left click on Save to download your converted ICO file. Once you have downloaded your ICO file, you no longer need your browser anymore, so just simply X out of it, and you should be taken back to your desktop. As you can see, I have another image file now on my desktop called Websplaining Logo Modified, which is the ICO file we just converted from PNG. To illustrate this, I'm just going to simply right click on the converted image, go to its properties under General, you should see that the type of file is now ICO file. 
ICO, which shows that our image has indeed been converted into an ICO file. Lastly, guys, I'm just going to double click on the converted ICO image file just to show you that it is a working ICO image file. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to convert PNG to ICO image. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so